Well, hello, DJ Ward. Uh, today, guys, uh, we're gonna do a new video tutorial, and this video tutorial is gonna be how to change your static IP automatically. I mean, uh, we're gonna build a Python function that's gonna change uh, your static IP automatically. Uh, what time you want? So. Uh, this could be uh, uh, could be a trick. You can use this function to do some tricks on the internet. Maybe it hides to be hidden uh, from something. Uh, I'll let this up to you guys to figure out what you can do with this function. So first of all, we need to check our static IP. As you can see, my static IP is that one. So let you show guys that I got uh, internet connection. There we go. And uh, let's build it. I'm gonna change IP or pipe. In order to do this function, we're going to need the module OS. You can do this, guys, in two ways. You can have a variable that's going to store a static IP that's going to ask the user every time you're going to run this module or this function. It's going to ask the user for a static IP. So you can give the static IP manually, or you can do a default static IP, or you can have a list with static IP that's going to change every time you run a program it's going to take uh, a value of the list and change the IP to the IP that's going to be founded in the list okay uh, I'll show you two ways guys with a variable and a default one so we're going to have a variable called IP and we're going to be equal to the input Gonna have OS. Oops. Call it. I'm gonna use a, a program that is built in on Mac. It's called Network Set App to manipulate our static IP. can have plus IP here or you can have it and you can have a manual Two dot one sixty eight dot fifteen dot let's say thirty three. Okay, I'm gonna use the first one first. I'm gonna comment out the second option. So I'll show you guys the first one. Uh, okay, let's go and see if it's gonna be true. Good one. So my static IP address right now is that one before running the program <clears throat> and let's run the program. And here you can see it asked me for a static IP. I'm gonna give one one two one sixty eight dot fifteen dot let's say sixty six and Let's check the IP. Oops. 
as you can see here I've got a new IP66 at the end and just to show you guys that it works I've got internet connection I'm gonna go and do a ping Oops. so as you can see I've got a web connection Let's go and use a second option. I'm gonna um, comment out this thing and comment this one and this one. So the, this option is gonna set my IP to 192.168.15.33 automatically without asking a user it's going to be a different one so let's see uh, Python 3 and let's check the IP address now you can see I've got a new static IP 33 at the end Let's check we've got internet connection. As you can see, still got internet connection. So that's all for me guys from TG World. And I'm sure that you can find this function useful, like myself. I'm using this function in something. Um, I'm sure that you're gonna find a good trick to do with this function guys. Till then, I'll see you in the next tutorial.